Hello and thanks for coming to check this out. Okay, this is that follow-up that I was talking about in the previous post. Okay, so in the previous post we looked at how to reverse the overshoot behavior in a titles template when cloning, uh, cloning and reversing the clone is not an option. And we looked at the method that allows you to still preserve the behavior, the overshoot behavior in and the overshoot behavior out. And then we looked at rigging those um, values to a rig so that it can be published. Okay, so we can have an overshoot in and an overshoot out without having to convert to keyframes and losing our publishable parameters. Uh, so this post is just to point out that you can now take that method and apply it to sequence text as well. So I've covered how to apply overshoot to sequence text in the previous guide. And thanks again to Anatoly Kotlinski over at the Facebook group who some time ago shared with us that method. Um, okay, but when we apply overshoot to sequence text in my previous guide, I still had not worked out how to actually get, uh, how to preserve the overshoot on the way out. Um, but that all comes now from the method we saw previously. So I'll just, if you follow the previous guide, this will make sense. If this doesn't make sense, go and look at the previous guide first and come back. There's a link in the description. All right, so this is the build. There's the null, null object in and the null object out. And what I've done now is I have the sequence text in and, you know, it's set from keyframes like we did in the overshoot on text guide. Uh, but the scale for the sequence in is linked to this, the null source in and the scale for the sequence out is linked to the null out. And uh, so from there we can rig the start and end offsets to provide the duration control for the behavior and we know that um, the ramp controls and uh, I've called the cycles bounce here instead of uh, cycles. So that is what I was talking about in the previous guide, that we can take it a step further. This is just the null object here that you see animating in and out. So we can come now and add uh, a bit more to the cycles and let's drop, or let's just pick the ramp up to 40. Uh, and we can speed it up. This is the end and offset, end offset, start offset rigged here. We can speed it up a bit. It's looking pretty silly at the moment. Um, this was just put together quickly. That's going to be uh, way too fast now. Let's drop the bounce down to a half. Okay, but the point here is that you see that now we can apply reverse overshoot on sequence text and have publishable parameters as well. So in my earlier guide what I did, I used my old method of creating a, a null object to reverse the overshoot out and uh, which, you know, we lose the out values to publish and rig when we when we convert to keyframes. Uh, so there we go. Alrighty, just a very quick guide to point out how you can take um, that method further. Just remember again that we're using this method here because in uh, titles templates we can't just clone and reverse and also um, converting to keyframes and reversing those keyframes is problematic as well. Alright, thanks for checking it out, thanks for watching.